Hey, hey friends, it's Corey from Hey Let's Make Stuff, and I'm here with a quick design space tutorial for you. Today we're talking about the attach function in Cricut Design Space. It's found here at the bottom of the layers panel in the right, and it's an important tool when it comes to creating files in Cricut Design Space. Let's check out how it works. So let's start with this image I have created using the basic star shape in Cricut Design Space. The basic function of attach is to keep your images on your mat the same way you have them on your canvas. So here I've created sort of a shooting star image using basic stars um, in the shapes menu over here in Cricut Design Space. But when I click make it, if I choose here on mat just for an example, you'll see that it doesn't keep that same arrangement. Um, Cricut Design Space wants to use the least amount of material as possible, and so it uses an algorithm to decide how to lay out the materials on the mat. Generally, it's biggest to smallest, as you can see here. So if I go back to our mat and I select all of our stars here, and then I click attach over here at the bottom of the layers panel on the right, you'll see that all of these stars are now nested under a heading um, from attach here in the layers panel on the right. And now when I go to hit make it, you'll see that it kept that same arrangement here on the mat. Another reason you might want to use attach is to connect a line type to a base layer. So what I mean by this is usually you'll have a paper layer, although it can be other materials, and then you'll want to write or draw or foil or emboss or deboss, engrave, um, any of these other line types, you may want to do that using attach. So here I have a blue tag from Cricut Design Space and then this cupcake image, which I have set to be drawn with the pen. If you click make it at this point, you'll see that these two things show up on two different mats. Um, your drawing image is gonna draw basically on the mat. There's no um, actual material here and your cut or your tag is going to be on a different mat. So if we go back here and we select both the tag and the mat and then we click attach, you'll see again that these two images are now under an attach heading over here on the layers panel. Now when we click make it, you'll see that we can actually um, cut and write on the same layer. So your Cricut will actually write this first and then it will cut around the tag. And that's it. Attach is one of those features that you'll use a lot in your Cricut crafting, so it is good to know how to use it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll be happy to respond. If you found this quick video helpful, I would love if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more quick tips like this. Happy crafting and I'll see you next time.